hi everyone welcome to angular tutorial series so in this video we are going to cover the synchronous and asynchronous calls in angular in our previous tutorials we have already covered the angular form validations and how to get the values from html form angular form and how to submit that to the backend so going forward we will interact with http calls rest calls some kind of synchronous call asynchronous synchronous call to submit the data so we are going in the same direction to deal with those different kind of calls. So first we will take a look how we can fetch the data from HTTP call. Most mostly the backend calls are REST calls. So you just hit the REST URL, you will get some JSON data, and then JSON data you are going to display on your view. So you need a controller. Controller will will fire a call to the rest service rest service will give you the json data now using that json data you are going to display that on your page or whatever you want to do with that json data so in this video we will take a look about synchronous calls simple calls using http in jquery in php you you have already done that so in angular how to make an http call to for a rest service or any kind of url like if you are submitting a form, you can make an HTTP call to submit the data using get, post, or different HTTP methods. So here, just a simple code. This is my route. I introduced a new route here, like forward slash JSON. It will use the form, uh, form controller, HTTP controller, and it will load this HTML page to my main page, index.html. So when I create this route so this is my page and if you see json load.html file this is my json load.html file it has nothing it has one button which is calling a submit method to the angular and here i'm doing ng repeat to the technologies so my target is how i can send a backend call how to make an http call to fetch the data from fetch the json data from backend so it is just a similar simple here i am just reading a demo.json file here you can put a http call or rest call url which you're going to fire here i'm using http.get so http.get will try to look into demo.json data and if it is successful then it will assign that response data which it is getting from the network call it will assign that data to the technologies the technologies array is already empty but after that call we got some data you can write error callback also here. If your call get failed, then how you deal with that? So th th these are two different callbacks. One is success callback, one is failure callback. Whenever data is like simple example, if you are submitting a form, then you have to use these two callbacks. If data is submitted successfully, then you can log something, you can print something data, and you can you can put a flag if your form submission is unsuccessful then whatever you want to notify the user you can write a code here so this is code when your http call is successful code when your http call get failed okay so here i'm reading this demo.json file and assigning that data which i'm getting from this http call assigning the two technologies so here if you see here i have this load demo.html json load i have one button which is firing a call submit so this submit function is defined in the to do controller scope dot submit so whenever i click on to this it will make an http call it will fire a call and it will fetch the data. App data technology initially empty array. It will fire http.get and it will fetch the data and assign to it. So what I'm doing here, this is my controller, form controller. This is my module. In form controller, I'm injecting this HTTP and scope. HTTP to make a REST call. So this is how we write some basic controller. I'm not using any factory to separate this HTTP call. but in the standard 
whenever you are calling some arrest call, HTTP call or web service call, then you have to write this code into some factory and service, then inject that factory and service inside your controller. Now call that factory and services from here, get the data and assign it to the front end because now the data is in the controller. Now the data is in the technologies. I can easily do ng repeat in my JSON load. Here I'm doing ng repeat data in technologies and getting printing this data. So when I click on it, it is firing an event and getting this data. So if you see the JSON data, it is simple. I'm fetching this name, alias and description. So it will loop in to all the JSON objects until the end of the file and it will print all the values of name, alias and description. So that's all. How to make an HTTP call? This is basic example. But in the standard practice, you have to write these calls in a separate factory. Inject that factory like we are injecting scope, like inject it like this. Factory name, then pass the factory to here also. And now in this method, you call that method like factory dot submit answers. Then use these callbacks. Like you will write. Factory.submit form and you can pass the data or whatever you are we want to pass the data while submitting the form. Then if your call is successful, then do this. If your call get filled, then write the next call back. So that's how we write the code. So we'll also take a look onto that. So that's all for this. In next tutorial, we will take a look on Angular promises asynchronous calls. Thank you.